In the past, that might have happened, but not today, because we carry EZIO. Let me tell you some things about this special equipment. So EZIO is indicated for life-threatening situations where an IV cannot be established, such as severe hypoperfusion and cardiac arrest. It is contraindicated in the locations of a fracture, excessive tissue, although the needles do come in longer sizes, previous orthopedic procedures, and infection. Now keep in mind there are several locations for insertion to choose from. These locations include the proximal tibia, which is the preferred location, the distal tibia, and the proximal humerus. All right, so now we can start the procedure for easy I.O. First I'll set this aside and we can go through the equipment, make sure we have everything. Sodium chloride looks good and I'm checking the date looks good and I'm looking at the solution make sure nothing's floating around and I've already attached my drip set it's a 15 drip set and I've already flushed the line so that's good to go next I'll take out my extension set and my flush checking that it's normal saline and that the expiration date is good it's 10 milliliters and the fluid looks good. So I'm going to take my special extension set made for the I.O. and I will flush the line. I have torn a piece of tape ready for when I secure the I.O. and I want to go ahead and check the drill make sure the batteries are working and I'll pick the right needle. So that works good and I'm going to pick an adult size needle if your patient has excessive tissue at the insertion site they do come a little bit longer Now we want to find the appropriate anatomical location for the I.O. You want to measure out one to two finger widths medially and one finger width proximally to the tibial tuberosity, which is the big thing that sticks out right below the kneecap. And we are aiming for this flat area. So now that we have our location, we want to cleanse the site appropriately. I have iodine and alcohol. Now, if there is a potential that your patient is allergic to iodine or shellfish, you probably want to skip using the iodine. Next, I will clean with the alcohol. Okay, so we're ready to begin. I'll get the drill and the needle. It's an adult needle, I'm rechecking it. What's really neat is this needle magnetizes to the drill. And I'll go ahead and take off the protective sheath. Now you notice there's two lines on the needle. The line that's closest to the point, you don't want to pass that when you first put the needle in. So I'm putting it in, doesn't pass the line, drilling, it's going straight in. I can go ahead and remove the needle, goes into a sharps container. So now we're ready to attach the extension set and flush. This attaches right to the base of the I.O. And we're going to aspirate a little of the bone marrow, checking our location, and bolus the rest of the sodium chloride. Now the reason we do this is so that we break up that intricate network of bone so that the I.O. fluids flow a little easier. 
we're going to connect the drip set and remember the bag needs to be hung significantly higher than the IO site I'm going to open it up all the way Next, I want to secure the I.O. The device itself secures pretty well against the leg, but this is your only I.O. access, so it's pretty important to secure it. Now, this is almost like a penetrating wound, so I'm going to take my two bulky dressing, so I will place them on either side of the I.O and take some tape and secure those to the leg. This is a pressure bag. Comes with a bulb so that you can blow it up with air. It works just like a blood pressure cuff. And in fact, you can use a blood pressure cuff if you don't have a pressure bag. Now the purpose of using this is because in an IO situation, fluids are not just going to flow through the tubing. You have to put some pressure on them. Now you know you have the right pressure on the bag when your drips are flowing at the appropriate rate. And it looks good. And that is how you do Easy I.O.